Hey Tech Heads, Fina here. Today I have the video that I promised you last week. We're taking a look at the BYD Seal's technical specs and comparing them to the Tesla Model 3, its main competitor. Or is it the other way around? Both cars offer a lot of options, so I've picked the BYD Seal Premium Extended Range versus the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which I find to be most interesting for today's comparison. If you are also interested in me comparing other versions, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to check out my video from last week where I compare the equipment that each of these models offers if you haven't seen that one already. And I'll leave a link in the description. All right, now let's get to it. First, a quick look at the Euro NCAP crash tests. So both cars have five stars, and as you can see in the tables next to me, they are both very safe. Unfortunately, there is not more recent crash test available for the Tesla, it's definitely possible that the current Model 3s from Berlin, Germany or Shanghai, China are doing even better. Now, Tesla's great results probably don't surprise any of us today, but personally I was a bit surprised by the seal. So this shows you that even Chinese BYD can make a very safe car. Let me know in the comments if you think the 2023 Model 3 would have even better crash test results. Okay, in order to compare performance and range, we definitely first need to look at dimensions and the weights. So as you can see in the table next to me, the seal is 106 millimeters longer, but 58 millimeters narrower and 17 millimeters taller than the Model 3. I'm sure you're wondering about the weight, as the BYD seal has an LFP battery, which should be heavier than the NMC and the Tesla. The BYD Seal extended range has a battery with a usable capacity of 82.5 kilowatt hours and weighs 2,055 kilograms. While the Tesla long range is a dual electric motor, has a usable battery capacity of only 74 kilowatts and weighs only 1,830 kilograms. So that is a difference of 225 kilograms kind of significant. So do you also like me think that the main difference in weight here is the LFP battery in the BYD seal or could it be all of that equipment the Tesla is missing? Both cars are doing very well in terms of cargo space. The Tesla Model 3 and the BYD seal are both sedans so you probably don't want to use them to like move a fridge or something but they do both have both a front and a rear trunk or a you know trunk and a front <laughs> so that's wonderful. The BYD Seal has a 402 liter rear trunk, while the Tesla Model 3 has 561 liters. The trunk is going to be 53 liters in the BYD Seal, and the Tesla has a cool 88 liter trunk. Both of these cars can also tow a 750 kilogram unbraked trailer. So yes, they are both sedans, but they can haul quite a bit. Next, let's talk batteries and charging. So the BYD Seal uses a CTB or cell to body structural battery system, which Tesla is currently only using in the Model Y. Probably due to low production capacity of the new 4680 cells, the Tesla Model 3 long range is still equipped with NMC batteries with 2170 cells from LG or Panasonic. It looks like they will be replaced with prismatic cells or the 4680 cells in the future, but you know, who knows what's actually going to happen. <laughs> Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. The BYD Seal Premium uses a LFP blade battery with a usable capacity of 82.5 kilowatt hours, while the Tesla Model 3 Long Range NMC battery has a usable capacity of 74 kilowatt hours. So we have an 8.5 kilowatt hour difference. I did find a nice video comparing the BYD Blade and Tesla battery designs. I'll definitely leave a link to that in the description. If you also want to check it out, you know, feel free because it's pretty cool. Now, both cars have an 11 kilowatt AC onboard charger or a 7 kilowatt in Australia, but the DC charging rate is very different. That comes down to battery chemistry alone. So the BYD Seal can charge up to 150 kilowatts on DC, but the Tesla can handle an awesome 250 kilowatts. So that's pretty cool. A 10 to 80% charge takes 38 minutes for the BYD seal, while the Tesla Model 3 long range only takes 27 minutes. Now I will say the upside here is that you'll probably just have enough time to have lunch while your seal is charging without having to go repark in the middle of it. So of course, even the fastest charging can have its drawbacks. 
Do you guys also like to grab lunch or take care of errands while you're charging up? To me, that's just the perfect use of time. Now let's look at dynamics. Here we may have a bit of a surprise. If you've been paying attention, you might still remember the difference in weight between the two cars, which is, yes, that's right, 225 kilograms. The BYD Seal Premium has an electric motor at the rear, rear wheel drive, and an output of 230 kilowatts, 360 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the Tesla Model 3 Long Range is a dual electric motor all wheel drive. So that kind of messes up my comparison for me. Why isn't there a long range version with just one motor? Okay, but there isn't. So, okay, let's go on. The Tesla electric motors have a total output of 366 kilowatts, 493 newton meters of torque. Zero to 62 mile per hour acceleration is 5.9 seconds for the BYD seal and only 4.4 seconds for the Tesla long range. So that's a bit of an unequal competition here. Top speed is 201 kilometers per hour or 125 miles per hour for the Tesla, 180 kilometers per hour or 112 miles per hour for the BYD SEAL. The BYD SEAL's main advantage is not performance, it's definitely price, which is substantially lower than the Tesla long range. So anyone who wants good range and doesn't need two motors will find the BYD SEAL to be an interesting choice. And now what we're all curious about, the price. So let's compare Australia and the UK. So the BYD Seal Premium costs 58,798 AUD in Australia in white. The other three colors are an extra 1,500 AUD. Estimated delivery is January to February 2024. Meanwhile, the Tesla Model 3 long range in Australia costs 71,900 AUD. So that's 13,102 AUD more. The BYD seal design in the UK costs 45,695 pounds. And the website unfortunately does not show estimated UK delivery time. The Tesla Model 3 long range in the UK costs 49,900 pounds. So it's 4,295 pounds more expensive. What do you guys think of these prices? It seems to me that the Tesla Model 3 it's not really worth that insane premium, even if it is a four x four. So yes, you do get a bit more performance, but you also get a whole lot less equipment. So be sure to let me know in the comments, what do you think of the BYD seals price? And also if you'd be interested in me comparing the cheapest Tesla Model 3 and BYD seal variants as well. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments section and in the next video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. If you do enjoy my work, you can also support me with a super thanks. As always, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.